Hello fellow plot questers, today I have a bit of a, an important message because as you probably know if you aren't living under a rock, there's a war going on out there and that's the war between Russia and Ukraine. And honestly, when I first heard of the issue, I didn't really think much of it. After all, I live in South Korea, which is quite far away from the Russia-Ukrainian border, and I really didn't care about it. However, at the middle of the night, I started re receiving Discord messages on my Discord server. And I had forgotten, because apparently one of my friends on Discord, one of my friends for playing Minecraft, and he's a very interesting person, he is a coder, and he's like in 8th grade, and he sent me messages that, uh, he sent me messages, and the messages were honestly for me quite uh, surprising, because at the at the middle of the night, uh, I'm I'm just gonna quote this from some screenshots. I'll I'll load up the screenshots right now on the screen. So as soon as the alarms ended and we went outside, we heard explosions, lots of explosions, approximately six kilometers away. So many explosions. We're back in the shelter now. And he sent us. A, he also sent us or the people that are, we that are in the server a picture of a bed. And this kind of made me think how it kind of made me slightly embarrassed that. I thought that um, the Ukrainian, current Russian Ukrainian war didn't have any correlation with me, and in fact, it kind of reminded me of how it kind of it kind of felt silly. I kind of felt silly that before I had heard about this from my friend, I didn't really think a lot of it. I was busy with school. I was busy with doing all those all these kind of different things and homework and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. However. As soon as my friend tells me that he's there in Ukraine and he can hear bombs and he's he's goes in going to frequently into bomb shelters, that immediately made that so much more personal for me. And it should have been already personal from the moment where the war started because it's an it affects everyone internationally and we are people, so we are linked. And we kind of I kind of was reminded that as international citizens we need to be aware of this kind of situation and we need to be aware of it and we need to be standing with. Um, with the victims of the situation, which is, in this case, which I believe to be Ukraine. And I think we need to really be aware of what's going on and really perceive things as rationally, of course, but also personally. And we must, again, remind ourselves that this isn't some another planet story or a novel that you're going to read anywhere. It's an actual war. People are dying, and it's an unjust war in some, in some aspects. And we kind of need to think about that and we need to remind ourselves of, about that. And I believe that perhaps we need to kind of just think about that and raise awareness about what's going on there so that perhaps Russia could stop doing it or more specifically Vladimir Putin. And we should all realize what Russia is currently doing is not exactly right. And the reasons why they are attacking Ukraine may be, well, Maybe some of them are valid reasons, like, oh, Ukraine's been trying to get into NATO, Russia doesn't want a NATO country at their border, because technically, if a NATO country is attacked, all the NATO countries attack the country that attacked NATO, so being a NATO country is really good. But, but why does, I mean, I guess Russia would feel threatened by that, but at the same time, it makes me feel like that doesn't make much sense, because Ukraine is another country, like, Vladimir Putin shouldn't have control over what Ukraine does or what Ukraine wants to do. So I don't think it, it's about, it's really there are any valid reasons for Russia really invading Ukraine in the first place. And a lot of Russian people agree with that, a lot of Ukrainian people agree with that, and most of the world in fact agree with the statement. And I believe that we should, just in case, well not just in case, but in general, we should be more aware of these, of the situation. And so, uh, some hashtags that we can spread around social media would be hashtag Ukrainians should resist and hashtag Ukrainian support. We need to spread a message that the world is currently standing with Ukraine and we want to stop the war. Because if Russia crosses Ukraine, and by the way, to the people that still thinks that this is, oh, this is just an issue between Russia and Ukraine, wrong. If Russia steps one feet over the border, of Ukraine into a NATO country, World War III will start. And that's when things will not be pretty at all. And I, let me remind you, most of the big countries, including the US and most of the European, strong European Western countries, are a part of NATO. So if NATO is attacked, then yes, World War III will start because just too many people will get involved, including all of the US allies. And US has a lot of allies, by, by a lot, I mean most of the world. 
So in other words, it, if you don't think that this issue is currently international and will go international, it's very personal for everyone in the world and should be, this is, your, this is the answer that I have. Because World War III is obviously going to affect everyone if it ever happens. Therefore, again and again, I would like for everyone to really remind themselves that this is a personal situation. This will affect everyone in the world and everyone on the globe. And currently, it is affecting everyone in Ukraine severely. And we should stand by that and raise awareness about that and spread the message. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it wasn't the typical, oh, I got a cool bug. But it's more of a, I got a terrible, annoying issue that is going on in real life. So, yeah. Well... Like always, your pot custer and a pot custer have a good day. By the way, I do have permission from my friend to use the screenshots, so don't worry about that. Bye.